Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In this short video, I want to show you a quick tip you can use for your Excel dashboard, a way to dynamically change the color of your bar charts or your column charts, depending on the value, so whether it's negative or positive. So join me in Excel, and let's go through this together. Okay, so here is a simple Excel dashboard inspired by the new Microsoft 365 theme. So I have some inflows, outflows, my net position and a summary of inflows and outflow. Now this can be filtered by the slicer to my right. The main goal here is that we want to show our net position every month. So if the net position is positive, right, we expect this net position to be green. In the months where it was negative, we expect the net position to be red. Okay, so we can switch between good months and bad months using these colors, right? So let's learn how we created this using Excel. So I have my data here. The data is in an Excel table. So I have dates, description, category, and then a column for amount. Now, the amounts are positive if it's an inflow and it's negative if it's an outflow. Now we made it so so that we can easily calculate the net using pivot tables. The rest are attributes, type, class, and month over here. So because this is an Excel table, I can stand anywhere, go to insert, and then insert a pivot table. So I want my pivot table in a new worksheet. So I'll click OK. Right. So over here, my job is simple. I need to aggregate the value column amount, right? So I can drag or I can check this box. So I can check this. And what you see here is the net position for all the months. I want to break this down, okay, by class. So I'm going to check class or drag it to the row section. Okay, so I have this. Now my income is stuck somewhere in the middle. So I can sort this. Okay, so I'll come here and then sort Z to A. So that I have my income on top, which is always positive, followed by my expenses. Now, the next thing is I want to chart this. So to chart, I can stand in the pivot table, insert a recommended chart. So I expect the column chart, the clustered column chart to be the default. And then when I click OK, I have my income. But you realize that we are missing the grand total. Right, so we need to find a way to capture the grand total as well as part of the chart. So because of that, we are not going to use the data directly from the pivot table. We are going to dynamically reference it, right, in another range. And we are able to capture the grand total with that. So I'll delete this chart for now and stand here to create a mirrored reference to this pivot table. I can use several ways to get this, but I'm going to use filter. So filter is one of the new Excel functions. So first I have to select an array. So the array is going to be all the items in column A and B together. I'm selecting this from the top because I want it to cover every item here. So if you're using this approach, it is important that you don't have any unrelated data on top or below. In fact, there shouldn't be any data below or down here just the pivot table. So I've selected this. Then I need to bring a comma and then choose my condition or my criteria. So what do I want to include? So here I want to include in this column B, I can also use column A, anything that is not empty. So that's how I express this. Greater than, less than, not empty, right? So it means that as long as the cell is not empty, it's going to be returned. So it's like a filter on non-blank cells right so i'll close this and this is going to spill the dynamic output which is a dynamic array here right so you realize that this also captures the grand total if you don't want the name you can also change it from the pivot table so i can make it net here okay it's still dynamic now on this spilled range i can now insert my clustered column chart so i'll come to recommended chart Okay, and then I have this here and then I'll click OK. So let's format this a bit. Now, the goal is to make it 
as simple as possible take out all the noise so for starters this is going to go off because it's going to be part of my dashboard it will have a caption i'll delete these y-axis labels i'll put the numbers on top right and then i'll take off the grid lines as well now let's focus on the bars right so i want to format the bars with excel charts any element you want to format you just select and press ctrl 1 right in that case the setting that is available for that selection appears on the right so here you can increase decrease the gap width a bit okay and once i have it in position i can now come to my bucket come to the fill and here i have the option to invert if negative so that is why we are here now if i choose invert if negative it is going to maintain blue lines for the positive numbers and then white it is so because i have automatic selected right so if you choose this you have to go back and choose solid fill which now gives you access to the positive color and the negative color so for this one for this purpose i want my positive color to be green so i'll choose green here and then i want my negative colors to be this soft red okay so here if i put in my slices you now appreciate the changing numbers and colors okay the other things you can do here but for this purpose let's now proceed and then insert our slicer so the slicer is going to be on the pivot table so i will stand in the pivot table and then insert a slicer okay my option here is to insert it on month so i'll put month here by the side okay so this side by side okay so january looks good let me now put in the data labels so that you can appreciate the numbers so the data labels come on top okay so here if i select this january were positive february we even increased but in march it went down right so you can use this to add a bit more color so that you can get your message across easily so hopefully you can use this in your excel dashboards please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks thanks for watching if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.